Roger, Lori is on the line, and her question deals with a dismemberment policy. Dismemberment policy, all right. Thank you, Barbara. Let's talk to Lori. Lori, this is Roger Reed Miller of Lori on the Line. How can I help you? Hi, Roger. This is Lori Schmidt. Would you um, turn, you're getting a lot of feedback, I'm sorry. Would you turn your TV down? I'm getting a lot of feedback here at the studio. Okay. Go ahead. Sounds like it's off now. Okay. Well, can I mention the policy as in spirit aero system? And I have recently had my fingers dismembered, and we have purchased the policy, and the company that, I'm going to say it, AIG, is not responding or wanting to commit to the policy there at Spirit Aero System, and it was an accident, and nobody will help me or do anything about it, and I wondered what I can possibly do about it. All five of my fingers have been dismembered from a blood clot, and it's an accident, and I don't know where to go or what to do so at this, this point. When you say this is an, it was an accident, it was a work-related accident? No. It, I was cleaning out a, a, a dumpster of... Uh, and I fell, and I hit my palm, and I got a blood clot, and I was in the hospital for like 15 days. Wow. And lost all five tips of my fingers, and they will not pay for anything. Wow. Well, most of these policies that you're describing are called ERISA policies, and they're governed by uh, the ERISA laws. Uh, it's a federal law uh, that requires that you go through certain steps, administrative steps, <coughs> excuse me, in order to be uh, satisfied that you've given the insurance company every opportunity to pay pursuant to the policy. And if they don't pay pursuant to the policy uh, under the ERISA law, uh, you can file suit against them and so you have to go through this process. I guess I would suggest that you get an administrative attorney who's familiar with the ERISA laws uh, and, and is willing to pursue this. And quite frankly, there's a fair number of them out there that will do this because the ERISA claim uh, will allow you to hire that attorney and they will, if, if they are successful on your behalf, be paid by the ERISA company for representing you in this matter because you shouldn't have to hire an attorney if you paid for a policy such as this and you may meet all of the contingencies in the policy to prove your particular claim. Uh, so meet with, talk with Lori, a, an ERISA lawyer right away.